Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Honor thy father and thy mother. So the Lord come back and say, honor your father and your mother. Both in word. Both in what? Word uh -huh. and deed. You know what that means? It says, honor your father and your mother, both in word and deed. What is that talking about, the word? I Meaning how you what? How you speak to your mother? Today, you were just telling me that you was arguing back and forth with your mother. Is that good or is that not? You have the spirit, sis. That's not how you support a deal when it comes to your mother. No matter what, you always respect your mother the way you speak to her. And read that last part. And in what? Word and deed. And in deed, meaning your what? Your actions. Your actions towards your mother. You both to respect your mother on the way you talk to her. And you're going to respect your mother and what you do for her. That's right. So guess what? You was wrong. According to what God says. You understand? I see you crying. What happened? Come here, talk to me, because you were just talking to my brother right there. She knows she is real, so she, she, she overjoyed. Okay, all praise to the Most High, sis. Now, you know you're an Israelite according to the Bible? What tribe you from? What's that script that uh, happy, I, happy I need? Uh, Deuteronomy 29. You know you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah? How old are you? 14, 15? 16. Do you know what, do you, know what you got to do? As an Israelite, you don't know how you learn this. Huh? I can't hear you. Your mom told you? What did your mom do? Is she with, she fellowship with anybody? A Jehovah Witness? Jehovah Witness don't teach me Israelites. Last I checked. But you learned. But you learned that you're an Israelite, right? Israel! Who is life unto thee? So the Bible says, once we found out we're Israelite, it bring us joy, right? right? Those are tears of joy, right? You know you're Israelite, right? God says, happy are thou, O Israel. O people saved by the Lord. The only way we're going to get saved by God is we keep his commandments. Come on. The shield of thy help. The Lord is our protection. And who is the sword of thy excellency? Come on. And thine enemies. Thine enemies, which is who, says? Who are enemies, according to the Bible? The white man, the other nations. Let's just put it like that. All the other nations is our enemy. Read. Shall be found liars unto thee. Shall be found liars unto thee because they told us we was black or African American, right? Now, come here. Let me get on this side. Let me get on this side. Now, I want to ask you some questions, sis. I want to know why you crying. What happened? I can't hear you. You had a bad day? So you know you're an Israelite, right? And I ask you, do you know what it is you're supposed to be doing? What made you have a bad day? What happened? Arguing with your mom about what? She was married. I was sitting up my bus. Yeah? So you was arguing with your mother back and forth. Okay. All right. I'm going to ask you a question. You got a boyfriend? You don't. You don't deal with a boy at all. Okay, good. So what did the Bible say about uh, how you're supposed to deal with your mother? You don't know how you, was you arguing, you was going back and forth with him, trying to sneak up with your brother, right? But you was arguing with him, though. Okay. Let's see what the Bible says about how you're supposed to deal with your parents. You hear me? What do the Bible want you to do when it comes to dealing with you? You was crying because you had a bad day because you was going back and forth with your mother about your brother, right? You was arguing with your mother. Give me that scripture. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. Your mother never taught you this commandment? What's it, what does it mean to honor your mother? Honor your father and your mother. Say it again. Say it again. To honor them while they're living. To honor your father and your mother means to have high respect for them. To have The Lord is going to explain to you how you... Give me that in Sirach chapter 3. It's going to explain to you how you honor your parents. Meaning how you deal with your parents. Because a lot of people might hear that and they might be like, okay, just honor my parents. The Lord is going to break it down. Sirach 3 and verse 8. The book of Sirach chapter 3 and verse 8. Honor thy father and thy mother. So the 
Lord come back and say, honor your father and your mother. Both in word. Both in what? Word uh -huh. and deed. You know what that means? It says, honor your father and your mother, both in word and deed. What is that talking about? The word. Meaning how you what? How you speak to your mother. Today, you were just telling me that you was arguing back and forth with your mother. Is that good or is that not? You have the spirit, sis. That's not how you support a deal when it comes to your mother. No matter what, you always respect your mother the way you speak to her. And read that last part. And in what? Word and deed. And in deed, meaning your what? Your actions. Your actions towards your mother. You both to respect your mother on the, the way you talk to her. And you both to respect your mother and what you do for her. That's right. So guess what? You was wrong. According to what God says. You understand? Read it again. Honor thy father and thy mother. Both in word and deed, uh -huh. that a blessing may come upon thee from them. Okay, read on. For the blessing of the Father established the houses of, of children. But the curse of the mother rooted out foundations. Who is our Colossians? Lord of Colossians. This your daughter? Sis, you gotta respect your parents. You gotta respect her. You can't be disrespecting her because you feel like you wanna get your point across. Just because you wanna take up for your mother, <clears throat> I mean your brother. The Bible says, Kirk, what is that in Matthew 15 first, real quick? I got a few scriptures popping in my mind. Matthew uh, 15, please. Matthew chapter 15, verse 4. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 4. For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother. And he that curse the father or mother, he that curse the father or mother, let him die the death. So if you disrespecting your mother, sis, guess what? Judgment is going to come upon you from God. You understand that? Judge, that's your daughter? Oh, that's not your daughter. You know who you are, sis, according to the Bible? Who are you? You're a child of God. What's your race, though? What's your nationality? Uh, yes. that's you're from the tribe of Judah, right? Uh -huh. Did you know how long you've been knowing you were Israelite? All your life? So what is it that God wants us to do now that we know that we are Israelite? Because this young sister here didn't know what God wanted her to do, knowing that she an Israelite. But God says, if you curse your father and mother, let them die to death, sis. Judgment will come from God if you're breaking his commandments when it comes to honoring your parents. Read. Read it again. For God commanded, say, honor thy father and mother, and he that curses father or mother, let him die the death. You understand that, sis? Judgment is going to come upon you if you continue the way you walk in with your mother. You understand? Hey, bro, how you doing? Hey, brother. How you doing? Bad, man. What's your name? My name is Cottrell. Your name is Cottrell. I want to ask a question. Why is our community the way it is? Right, what's some of the things that's taking place in our community that we need to fix? Like this right here, sis, don't go nowhere. Our, our children not honoring their father and their mother. You see that? Right, that's what the Bible says. Right, these children today is out of control. Not saying you are, sis, but if you was out the screen today, and that's something you did, you gotta repent from it. You understand? You can't disrespect your mother in no form or fashion. Now, bro, what's some of the things that's taking place in our community? Because you're a man, and the Lord is calling the man to get the community in order, to get our people in order. What What's some of the solutions we can do to stop gangbanging and drug dealing in our community? I know you know you're an older guy. What type of programs? They got those. Those are still here. But what are they? At, at the after school program, I was in the after school program. What happened at the after school? What happened at that school program? We had a good time. We had a good time, though. Oh, boy. I'm talking about we had a real good time. It ain't the, it ain't the good time that God told us to have. What was we doing? Teachers weren't paying no attention to what the students was doing. They still don't pay attention to what the students doing. Guess what? I was in the bathroom with that girl. 
You think they ain't doing that today? Yeah. Nah, the school programs ain't gonna do nothing for us, man. Come on, bro, we want some real solutions. It's gang banging and drugs. They bringing guns to the school. They selling drugs at the school. Okay, well, listen, man, let me just say this. You teach it right now. No, no, I'm asking you. I'm trying to help you. I want you to help me out. I'm not all right, give me Ephesians 5. Give me Ephesians 5. I'm going to tell you what God got, the solutions that God got. All right, cool. I got you. So when we bring the solutions, are you going to follow them? Not follow me. Are you going to follow God's solutions? Oh, man. You love God, though, right? You believe God, right? You're going you're gonna to follow all God's teachings. All right, cool. Watch this. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 22. Then he put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So the Bible telling us to be renewed in the spirit of our mind, that we put off the old man, that we got to do what? Change. Fully change according to what the Bible says we must do. You understand? You understand, sis? Put off the old man and, and change according to what the Bible wants you to do. Not according to how you think and how you feel, but we got to change. Hey, bro, hey, you got a flyer? Watch this. Hold on, bro. Wait, wait, wait. You, you want the solution. See, come on, man. When the solutions come out, you got to go. And they, our, our people don't want no solutions, man. Because if they want the solutions, they're going to stay here and get the solutions out of the Bible. We going to stay in the conditions that we're in because we don't want the solutions out of the Bible. We want to do what we want to do. That's why we went into slavery. That's why we're in the conditions that we are in today. Because we think what we think or how we feel is what's going to work. Besides what God tells us to do. Hey, young men, where y'all going? Come here real quick. All right, finish this. And that ye put off, put on the new man, which of the God is created in righteousness and true holiness. So we got to keep God's commandments. Give me Matthew 26. That's what the Bible is saying, sis. We got to change. The old person that you are, the person that you are right now, you got to put that person off and learn what it is that Christ wants you to do. Learn what it is that God wants you to do, sis. The way, huh? What are you doing? Do you know that you're not supposed to wear the way you dress is, is wrong? So when I see huh? this, Do I got time to get one scripture? Give me that real quick. Do the right in 22. I'm going to show you, sis, because you said we got to follow the Bible, right? We got to follow God's solutions. Remember, the way you dress, a man, when a man look at you dressed like that, what do they want? When they see your body, your thighs, your breasts, what, what do they want? They want you. They want to they wanna hit that. Let's just keep it 100. No, when they do, when they do, do our women, your thighs, it ain't got to be your breasts. You see your thighs? Right now, you got on leggings. But let's, I'm going to show you something real quick. Watch this. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You wear pants, right, sis? You wear pants? Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a woman's garment that a man should not wear is what? What clothes a man should wear that women wear? Dresses and skirts, right? Now watch what the Lord say. Read it one more time. The woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the Lord come back and say, a woman should not wear things that belong to men. Which is talking about what, sis? Pants. Are you going to take that solution? Because believe it or not, don't our women walk around here with they behind out? With they breast out? I ain't saying you do. But do that happen? So God say that a woman's supposed to dress modest when you read 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Meaning we, a woman's supposed to wear what? A dress. Not, not what you got on, sis. You're not supposed to wear pants. Uh, wait, whoa, whoa. Are you going to take the solution or not? Are you going to change? Are you going to keep God's commandments? Oh, praise the sister. So that's, that's the first step. That's just one commandment. It's many more. We got to come back to this Bible, sis. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Oh,